the Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, so people who don't know. know the sport, Badahari is one of the biggest names in the sport, like forever. He's he's a guy who he's stopped Alistair Overeem. He you know he's fought in K one. He fought everybody. He fought Semi everybody. Shield, yeah. Peter yeah. Arts. Whatever. I mean, yeah. he he's a fucking wild man too. Yeah. You know, but he hasn't fought in high level competition for a long time, no. and then he fought you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing was, everybody was. Uh, I was beating everybody. I was champion and I was beating everybody. People said, yeah, Rico's good. He's the champion, but he hasn't fought Botter. I was like, hey, if he was. So on national television, I said, hey, if he wants to fight, let's go. But he had been dealing with a bunch of legal troubles. Yeah, so he had a lot jail. of problems. Yeah. He broke someone's leg in a club. Yeah, a lot, a lot yeah. of shit. So, Crazy shit. There's a video yeah. of him slapping some guy's face at a, in, yeah. a, in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that guy slapping your face. You're some poor dude <laughs> yeah. working behind the counter. Yeah. Botter comes in like, yikes. Yikes, yeah. Do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take the key, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Which the room hotel, would you like? The hotel is yours. <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah, he had a bunch of problems. But then the, the eventually the fight happened because that's the fight that people wanted to see. Yeah. But for me, it was just like another fight. Mm -hmm. um, then the fight, it end, the fight ended that way. Uh, yeah, that was... Too bad. So, but now we can do it again. Yeah. So uh, the fight was quite a while ago. How long ago was that? 2016. Yeah. That's a. Why did it take so long for the rematch? Uh, yeah. There was a bunch of stuff going on in between, and like last year he fought Hesdi Gerges, also a good kickboxer. I believe he's now doing MMA in Bellator, and, and he's fought Hesdi he before, right? Yeah, he fought Hesdi before, but got disqualified. So oh, that's right. He stomped him when yeah, he was on the ground. Him, yeah. So, yeah. uh, so, and but after that that's, fight, he's so crazy. Yeah, he's crazy. <laughs> so, and, and, and he's then, such a wild dude. Yeah, and then after that fight, they both got uh, got uh, caught with using whatever. Oh, steroids. Yeah. Uh, oh, so so they they both got suspended, and or I believe Hesty Hesty wasn't suspended. I don't know, but he uh, got suspended till December this year. So that's why. How did the fight go? The last when he fought last year with Hesty. Uh, he won, won. But it wasn't easy, but he won. Was it a loss? I mean, a, a decision or was it? It was a decision, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so for him, that was the first fight since your fight with him in 2016. Is that it? Yeah. Because he's been, because yeah. he's had a he's bunch been so of legal on and problems. Off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, and now he's not training at Mike's gym anymore as well, no, right? No, 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 no. Do you know who he's training with? Um, yeah, I don't know his name, but I know I know the guy, but... Don't know who he's training with. Well, now. he looks good on Instagram. Uh, for sure. Looks it, very fit. Uh, a lot of people Jacked. look good. A lot of people look good on Instagram. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> when you see him in real life, it looks totally different. <laughs> well, I'm sure he looks the same. Yeah. But it's a, it's uh what's interesting is when you're in high level competition like he was, of course, in you know, the days when he fought Alster, before Alster made the transition full time mm -hmm. to MMA. Um, when he before he came to strike force and all that stuff, that's that's a long time ago. Yeah. You know, it's it's probably hard to get back, in, I mean, and to jump straight into top-level competition like Hedzi or especially like fighting you as yeah. a champion. Yeah. That's a big leap, right? Yeah. So, but that's the thing now. We both have – so he fought last year March and mm -hmm. I fought last year September. So because I am was in negotiations – and still am in negotiations with Glory for a new contract – so it's uh it's both been a while for us, but I've been before that I was like in a much crazy, more active, yeah, yeah, crazy active yeah. flow. Yeah, you definitely have much more momentum, and just there's a thing about fighting too. When guys take a long time off, it's almost like they they lose the feel for it. Yeah, they lose. You know, you know how obviously they know how to kick, they know how to punch, they know what to do. They're in shape. Yeah, but there's a feel that they have for the ring for exactly exactly this uh, this. Is where people don't understand, like, hey, you step in the ring, and that's what that's what you do. That's what you were born to do. That's true, but you need that that tension. You need that vibe of walking towards the ring, stepping into the ring. All those people looking at you at that moment. That's a certain type of feeling that you get. And you got to be comfortable with it. Yeah, and that that's exactly what it is. You yeah. got to feel comfortable, and the only way you can 
be comfortable and stay comfortable is being active. Yes, being active is very. It's it's just so critical for a fighter when, when a guy takes a year off or two years off or three. I mean, it's like oof, the more the time is, the yeah. more it becomes problematic. Yeah, and the older you get, that's yes. the yes. How more. old's Botter now? Thirty five, I think. Hmm. So, so yeah, does Glory drug test? Yeah, they do. Th that's that's how they got caught. Was it him or was it an athletic commission? I mean, was it Glory or was it? A, uh, no, a, it's not Glory. It's an, an Dutch like a local, uh, yeah. like a Dutch yeah. athletic commission. And so they're gonna drug test for this fight as well. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. So I, I got tested like every every time. Is it like WADA testing, like the same standards? Like world yeah, anti-doping yeah, agency? Yeah, yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. So they like wake you up like seven o'clock in the morning. Hey Rico. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, that's not the testing. They just test at the events. Oh, so that, I, I would even rather have that. Yeah. They just wake up and random come test, but mm -hmm. that's not what they that they do. But they test like really strict when you're when you're there. Yeah, that's that's a little bit easier to pass though. That's true. No, that's a lot easier to pass. I should say. I have no clue. Yeah. I don't know what to do or what ways there are to because. I'm not on it. I don't right. want to stay busy. I don't want to think about it. Right. But whatever, you know, I just jump in there and just do what I got to do. But that's why I told Glory now, for, again, after this whole issue, because a lot of people were caught like last year and they didn't expect that. I was like, hey, we got to keep doing this because this is the way we make the sport clean. Yes. And I think that's what we deserve because we – yeah, we are we are a good sport. We are all athletes, but I want to be safe in the ring. And what do you mean with safe? You're going into a fight, I understand? But somebody that uses whatever can maybe just punch a little bit harder in the beginning of the fight or mm -hmm. whatever. Have and a little more endurance. Exactly. Hit you with some punches they wouldn't be able to hit you with. They're not on some shit. Exactly. Yeah. So that's what I mean uh, with Dylan and Glory. I want to be safe when I'm in the ring. Well, for sure. I mean, if. If one person's on it and one person's not, that's, you know, it's, uh, it's a giant advantage. And anybody who says it's not is just lying to themselves. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'm, in the end, you know, I just go in there and don't, I'm not even thinking about right. it. But it is the fight to make in kickboxing, too. And if there's a fight that I could tell people, hey, you got to watch, you, you really want to know what kickboxing is all about, watch this fight. This fight. That is the fight. Because Bader's such a wild man and he's such a knockout artist and you obviously one of the most successful heavyweights ever. You know, I mean, your uh, your kickboxing record in glory, I mean, just the highlight reel is amazing. You've had so many great fights over there. Too. Yeah, I've been doing so good. I really enjoy myself. And that's what I said. I want to bring kickboxing to a new level. Like then, especially when you go now in Holland, like normally in Holland it was like soccer or whatever, cycling or ice skating. That's where parents would bring their kids to and do that, do kickboxing, do, mm -hmm. do kickboxing. And now they're like, hey, kickbox, this is cool. Because when did Rico that change? I think like two, three years ago. What what made it change? I think uh, because of the Bader fight. That was uh, so we were getting we were getting more airtime and after the butter fight and everything that happened around him and it was surrounding him like what, what the things you said would happen outside in the club and this mm -hmm. and that yeah he was like the national asshole right and I, and I was like the national good guy because everybody <laughs> right. so and that was like the perfect clash and then of course yeah I beat him so everybody was like. Oh shit! He's he's our hero, <laughs> right? So that that's like, that's how everything a little bit exploded, but um, but again for you that's unsatisfying the way it happened though that he gets his arm injured. Yeah, yeah. In whatever way, reason or whatever he thinks happened, but like because you, you're suspicious about. I'm it. suspicious about it. So because he's looking at one arm, then looking at the other arm, and it just it's a vague thing for me. But it's but that's what I have with this whole thing that he tries to create it's like when he's getting announced and everything he's like yeah butter harry 110 something fights and 90 knockouts but I, i'm obsessed with what i'm doing i'm uh when i'm when i fight and when i have an opponent and i'm fighting i'm looking for everything i want to know everything about you and everything these days you can find on the internet so when I'm looking on the internet, and for example, you look at Wikipedia and you're looking at all, all the fights from back in the days, K1 days, and even before that, you maybe get to 60, 70 fights. 
So where are the other fights? Does that mean like when you were younger in the youth period, you did like 40 something fights and did you knock everybody out? I don't know. My trainer has been there for years, even before that. And he doesn't know about it. So that's strange because everything is documented on, on the internet, everything you can find on the internet. So, so you think his records inflated? I think so. He's got some crazy knockouts, though. He got, got uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. The Stefan Leko, that the wheel yeah, kick, yeah, the wheel kick is Woo! crazy. But that's what I said. He got, he, he, he's got mm-hmm. that. He's got amazing records. But yeah. I think it's not as crazy as they make it to be. Which is crazy because the the reality is pretty crazy. I mean, you don't need to hype it up any more than it really is, mm-hmm. right? No, but it's been there for years. Like, hey, right. he did 100-something fights and so mm-hmm. many knockouts. But when I look at it, it I can't find it. Mm, because, I see what you're saying. But maybe it's there. Maybe it's there. Maybe it's from years ago or whatever. I don't know. But that's all that I'm looking at. You're suspicious. I'm suspicious about it because when I look at Wikipedia and I'm looking at when he was around, it starts from when he was around 16 till now. It's like 60, 70 fights. It's funny when you look at him in the early days, too. He was so skinny. Yeah. <laughs> like, even when he fought Stefan Leko, you yeah. know? And then now he's just fucking jacked. Yeah. But he put so much time into strength, strength and conditioning workouts. You could see, like, he's always doing some crazy strength routine. Yeah. 